Hi guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. Thank you for watching today's Tarot Day. Okay, today for me is the 3rd of April. Hope you've all had a great week. Tell you something that's just happened to me, okay? My friend Sue came over and she brought her huge crystal singing bowl. So if you are a member of Dr. Linda Kramer Paranormal on Facebook, it's a private group because we've had some stalkers in there. So please understand you've got to answer the question so we know that you're not spam or a robot, etc. Okay. <clears throat> I just did a little clip showing the size of this singing bowl that she's got. The resignation and the absolute vibration that comes out of this thing is amazing. So I've just put that little clip in Dr. Linda Kramer Paranormal on Facebook. Okay, the link's below if you want to join my group. I've got a lot of development classes there. I've got a lot of UFO, alien, <clears throat> ghost, NDE, heaven stuff. It's paranormal. So it encompasses everything. So... My energy from this bowl is gorgeous right now. I'm still singing the ohms from just getting hit by that vibration. So today's tarot. Interesting it is. Because when I picked up my little lovey-dovey card, I said to her before I started, which one should I start? And she said, go with your little lovey-dovey cards. Look at how gorgeous these guys are. Right, there's my little pack, so there's heaps of them in there, right? And she said, don't shuffle, go for the first one on top. First time she's ever told me that, I trust her, okay? So here is the card, the first one for today. Love willing, <clears throat> excuse me, it's a cold night last night, and it's early morning for me. <clears throat> Let's start this one again. Love willingly compromises and accommodates others' needs. So love willingly compromises and accommodates others' needs. So what's that about? It's all about negotiation. It's all about understanding what the others are going through, looking at what we want compared to what they want in our lives. So this next week, the cards are already saying negotiations on the table. Accommodate other people without judgment, without accusation. Don't ask people, why do you want to do that? Because <clears throat> remember, when we ask people, why? Why haven't you put the bins out? Why are you applying for that job? What we're actually doing by saying that is we're controlling what they do which shows that we are above them. That's how we make someone feel less worthy, less appreciated. So instead of asking, why haven't you done that? Ask them. <clears throat> Simple other ways of communication where you say something like, would you like to do that? Because then it's that person who has the decision. It's that person who has that self-pride, self-worth and self-respect where their ego comes up and they build self-esteem, okay? So this week is a big week for us to start negotiating. You, we don't have to control everything, right? Because for the past two years, we've lost our control. So straight away, people are starting now to bring back all those negative traits like asking, why haven't you taken the bins out? Why haven't you watched that finished your homework? Why haven't you made dinner? Because that's accusations. Stop accusing people this week of why they're doing certain behaviors. If we use the word why positively, giving people options to do what they want when they want thank you, we build this more positive vibration around all of us that then spreads to everybody else, okay? <clears throat> so that's my little lovey-dovey card to start with. Then we go to my tarot spread because I've already pulled the card. 
So here's my tarot. And I said, throw me a card that the whole world needs to hear for the next week. And here it is. It is the Ten of Swords. So let's have a little read about what the Ten of Swords means, yeah? Straight from my book. Here it is. Ten of Swords. Okay. <clears throat> the Ten of Swords can represent a feeling of loss due to ending a difficult situation. Look at the last two years with what they've been putting us through. It's starting to end. All these secret agendas, all these mandates are crumbling. Okay? People are now waking up that they've had that loss for two years trying to work out now why they've put so much onus of trust on somebody who really wasn't trusting them in the first place. Okay? <clears throat> if you believe what I say, this past two years was never about health. Okay? Think about those words. Okay? So, <clears throat> we've had a loss due to the ending of a difficult situation. Yet within this, we are released and ready for a new beginning for life moves in cycles. So things are now opening up. Mandates are dropping. The, the governments have now decided and realized that we are taking our strength back. They're losing that control that I was just talking about with this card. Okay. They can't keep this game playing game plan going anymore okay they've got to come up with new strategies okay it can warn about ruined plans well look at the last two years how many people have had ruined plans you can't go to funerals you can't go to weddings you can't travel you can't go to work <clears throat> a lot of people can't even go to hospital ruined plans are with everybody right or matters that don't materialize as hoped how many of us for the last two years were hoping to do this, hoping to do that, and it all fell apart because of other people's control trying to manipulate what we were doing, right? Leading to feelings of disappointment. But take comfort in the fact that perhaps they were just not meant to be. Everything does happen for a reason, okay? <clears throat> two years ago, I made an analogy on Facebook. And I said, we're going to see true colors come out during this time of this pandemic. People's true colors will come out. Those people who go to work and that's their life, they have no external life to work. They lose their job. So now they're stuck at home. They get depressed. They start having addictions, smoking, gambling, drugs, etc. Because they don't know who they are. Okay. Why do you think there's so much DV now? Because people being together longer than just two hours before work and two hours before bed at night, they're now having to spend time with that person, finding out who they are, likes and dislikes, are we in the same zinc, sync or vibration? And a lot of people are working it out. True colors are coming out, okay? So, <clears throat> ruined plans or matters that don't matter materialize as hoped. A lot of that has happened over the past two years and it's all now fading away. Okay? If this card, oh yeah, no, we don't need that. But take comfort in the fact that perhaps they were just not meant to be. This is again, don't judge. Don't accuse people. Don't ask why are they doing that? which takes us back to this card, okay? Because love accommodates and it compromises other people's needs, okay? So this is awesome news for what's coming out in the next week. Okay, <clears throat> then I was asked to do the beautiful Louise Benton cards. Here's her card if you do want to go over to her website. The description is below if you want to go and order her set of cards. Not only did she design the artwork, but she also creates the beautiful words that I'm about to say. So this is the soul card. S-O-L. I'll just put it up in case you want to pause the screen so you can have a read. Okay. Solar being. Divine emanation. Inspiring mystic 
contemplation. Radiant star shining bright blesses us with golden light. Earthly beings reach to the sky to embrace the light that comes from high. Source of our illumination, counterpart in earth's creation. Master of the season's turns, gentle warmth, zenith burn. Tracking cycles, the march of time, the brilliance of your light doth shine. And down the bottom, I open myself to the divine light of the sun. So this is where now people have now got opportunities coming to them. Okay? Okay opportunities are now coming because all these mandates and other government stuff that they've done for two years we're seeing through it now okay the death rates were not changed interesting thing you can google daily i'm um, sorry yearly death rates of a country 2019 2020 2021 they haven't gone up i've done it it's all now coming out. If 200,000 people died of a certain virus, wouldn't that be like 200,000 extra deaths per year? Yes. So work it out, guys, okay? And that's what we're all doing now. We're all waking up because the yearly death rates don't lie. So do a Google, okay? So let me go through some of these because there's a few things in here inspiring mystic contemplation so that's where people are analyzing who they are we're working out now who do i want to be in this future now that the past two years of the pandemic has now gone over okay earthly beings reach to the sky this is where we've got hope this is where we've got our trust in ourselves this is where now we're putting out our goals what are our targets what are our projects that we want to accomplish now this is our time to start those building blocks, looking to the skies of possibilities and opportunities to come in. Okay? Embrace the light that comes from high. So this is where we trust our intuition. Trust the angels. Trust the sky above that whatever we put our hearts into is going to manifest into our reality. Okay? So it's the master of the season's turns. So this again shows, just like the Ten of Swords, there's a loss, which is the last two years. It's now that we can grieve for what's happened over the past two years. And through that sadness of that loss is when we realize, what do I personally want to do? To justify my own existence. What is the person that I want others to say I am? Oh, have you heard about Linda? She's a... So insert your own name there. My friend Sue's here, so I'll use her as an example. Sue says, oh my God, what are all her friends and family going to say about Sue? Who's that person that she strives to be? That's what the cards this week are all showing us, okay? This is our opportunity to stand up in our truths, in our honesty, in our integrity, and our morals and respect. Go forward into this world and say, My name is Linda. This is who I am going to be. This is who I am striving to be. This is the person that I am wanting other people to see. So we take that self-charge. We take that self-respect of ourselves, of knowing who we are. And we use that self-authority um, within ourselves, that power that charge, that vibration of energy. And we go out there, so all like little pheromones, do, 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 it spreads to everyone else around us. <clears throat> Lastly, I've got the ruin stone. Ooh, it's this one. It's got like an M on him. So I found him in my book. 
and I'll show you the stone. It's this one here. So there he is for comparison, right? Let's have a little read of this one. It's called Awas, and it's the horse. Now, funny thing, horses are my favourite animal. You know why? Not only because they have the mane. Hello, I love my mane. But if you look at the animal's stamina, they can carry all our stuff before vehicles were invented. We relied on them for that strength and stamina. They go out there and they're brumbies running in the field. So they frolic and they, they're fillies and they're, um, what's the word? They prance. So this is our time to prance. Who do you want to be? Go put on your favorite clothes and be that person. Take that strength and authority in ourselves. <clears throat> so the horse is a sacred animal to Nordic peoples, carrying warriors into battle, associated with a relocation, a physical shift, some travel or a change for the better. Isn't this what all the cards are saying where we now got to negotiate and compromise? The tenth, Ten of Swords is saying that we now have that loss so we can rebuild. And now we have the horse that carries us into that battle so we can have that opportunity into our reality. All right, so let's read what the horse says. Okay, the ruin of physical or emotional relocation. Now, some of us will be relocating new houses, new jobs, new family members, new friends. But what about the spiritual relocation now where we've had two years where we can't do anything? Now we can make that shift and we can say, thank goodness I've had that time to reflect. Thank goodness I've now worked who out who I am. Who do I want to be in my future? So now I've got that um, energetic relocation happening where I can go out and make this my reality. Okay. A good omen for travel, making a career, um, a housing or re relationship move. Okay. Because people now are working out who they are. Okay. True colors have come out. It is a difficult, if it is, a, if in a difficult situation, indicates <clears throat> a successful, harmonious resolution is just around the corner. Harmonious resolution. Does that sound like negotiations and compromises? Of course, all these cards are related today. This is amazing. All right. And the last one. A signal to broaden one's horizons. Now, when we broaden our horizons, guys, it doesn't mean geography. Okay, we've got the physical, we've got the spiritual. Some people will go out there and travel. People will go out there and move. People will go out there and see friends and families that they haven't seen in two years. But what about that spiritual relocation where we now have this golden opportunity upon us? Just like Louise Benton's card said, earthly beings reach to the sky to embrace the light that comes from high, source of our illumination, counterpart of Earth's creation. We're now reaching for the skies with our opportunities. We are now making our reality on our own terms instead of what the governments are saying. Wow, this week is a very powerful week. Use your time wisely, guys. Most of all, use your thoughts wisely. Because what we think, we create. The more we blame, the more we accuse, the more we judge, <coughs> the more we're going to be still in that same place of two years ago. But the more we are productive with our energy, the more this week we say, I am. And we take that power and that authority. The more chance we have 
that we are making it. So I hope you all have a great week, guys. Talk soon. Bye. To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.